I'm always delighted to be with Solomon News. This has been such a leader in the conservative movement and the Republican Party. Welcome to the Saul's Newsstand News Rewind for March 10th, 2023. An article from The Hill states, Yunkin fuels speculation that he might challenge Trump. Chatter is growing around the possibility of Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin launching a 2024 presidential bid as he seeks to bolster his national profile. Youngkin has inserted himself into the national spotlight in recent weeks as other potential GOP contenders, including fellow Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida, journey outside of their states to test the presidential waters. Saul Anousis, a Republican strategist, had this to say about Youngkin. If you take a look at the candidates across the country, oftentimes they have the same basic philosophical beliefs, but it's a question of style and personality. I think Glenn Youngkin is a calm, rational, thoughtful conservative that many people will relate to. In an interview with the Associated Press last month, one of Youngkin's top political strategists, Jeff Rowe, said the state of the 2024 race was a two-person contest between Trump and DeSantis. However, Rowe said that if Youngkin were to decide to run, he will make a lane for himself. Axios reports, Biden's Medicare proposals may have some bite. President Biden's push to let Medicare negotiate the prices of more drugs sooner after they come to market won't become law anytime soon, but some experts say even raising the topic could scare off investment into new treatments. The possibility of Medicare having even more negotiating power increases uncertainty around future returns on today's R&D, and economists argue that may ultimately make some investments too risky. The White House on Tuesday released its plan for extending Medicare's solvency for another 25 years. That includes allowing the program to, quote, negotiate prices for more drugs and bringing drugs into negotiation sooner after they launch, although it doesn't offer any more detail. Priscilla Vanderveer, Vice President for Public Relations at Pharma, said, quote, the ink isn't even dry on the price-setting provisions of the Inflation Reduction Act, Yet the administration is doubling down on a bad policy that is already negatively impacting R&D decisions in cancer, mental health, and rare diseases, among many others. And finally, Just the News reports, Biden's document story keeps changing, this time by nine boxes. President Joe Biden strongly condemned former President Donald Trump's handling of classified materials following the FBI's August 8, 2022 raid on Mar-a-Lago, yet an ever-growing number of document discoveries appears to be undercutting his criticism. The National Archives and Records Administration, in a March 7 letter to GOP Senators Chuck Grassley of Iowa and Ron Johnson of Wisconsin, confirmed that it had recovered a further nine boxes of materials from the Boston office of Biden's attorney, Patrick Moore. This trove of materials was previously housed at the Penn Biden Center in Washington, the site at which a lawyer cleaning out Biden's former office discovered classified materials that reportedly included intelligence on the UK, Iran, and Ukraine. Biden said in January that he was surprised to learn of the discovery. Once again, we'll let President Joe Biden have the last word. More than half the women in my cabinet, more than, more than half the people in my cabinet, more than half the women in, the, in my administration are women. And that concludes your Saul's Newsstand News Rewind for March 10th, 2023. For more political news faster, visit saulsnews.com.